gonna go vlog style to my local frag swap and just see what I can get for $100. So I think my goal is gonna be mm, five to six frags, maybe $20 a piece, we'll see. I don't know what frags are really going for these days. It's honestly been a while since I've purchased a lot of coral. So I am looking for gorgonians and leathers and also some oddball corals for a new build that I'm excited to take you on. I'm also going to show you everything in between, so all the cool stuff that's in there as well. So I think there's 12 to 15 vendors inside, but uh, Reefing USA puts it on twice a year. They do a great job with it, so let's go inside and see what they got. And for those of you that think that it's dangerous to vlog and drive at the same time, no, just me driving around in circles in this parking lot. People are looking at me like I am absolutely insane right now. All right, seriously, let's go inside. Busy doing the coral thing still. So one of the cool things of this show is you can you get a free frag. So hey, I don't know what's inside, but I'm usually not one that has to rush in to get the latest and greatest trendy piece of coral. When I go to a frag swap, I usually like to take a quick lap around and then visit individual vendors a few times after that. You'd be surprised at how much you miss if you don't revisit tanks. We had a pretty good turnout this year. It's usually fairly busy to start and then tapers off as usual after the raffle. I mean, that might be the play right there. Good, how are you? I'm trying to get as many frags for $100, and you guys are making it real easy, you know? I was like, I could probably get like five or six frags for 100 bucks. There you go. What are these guys? Any other weapon, Willow? Yeah. How much for those? I was going to ask 60. Okay. All right, and we got one frag and spent $100. So that's the, that's the end of the video. So let's go home. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Let's go back in. I've only spent 30 so far. I'm gonna go ahead and get this litho right here and the uh, pavona here. We made a deal and we got these two for 30 bucks. I got really close to grabbing this Galaxia frag. I've seen so many variations in color and this one in particular, I do not have. I love that art and decoration for your fish room has kind of become a staple at swaps now. These UV laser cuts are awesome. I love a good solid branching Cyphastria. This seemed like a good time to snag this one up. All right, I'm gonna do this bigger piece. Okay. This branching Cyphastria here. Get it crushed quite a bit. You start getting the nodules yeah, start yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Someone's, Someone's selling Coral Warfare. Very cool. And there's this beautiful hammer. The video does this thing no justice. It was gorgeous. I'm gonna grab one of these green body Duncans. Is it $10? $10. Okay. Um, let's go with, let's go with this guy right here. The Duncan was one of my first beginner corals when I got into the hobby years ago. I always love feeding these guys. It definitely adds some movement to the tank. And like I said, a great beginner coral. Now this frag caught my eye, it kind of looked like a really thick and bushy acro. Thought it was a branching Hydnophora, but you'll see at the end of the video, it might not be. I did a combo deal. Two Possilpora frags, the unknown, or what we think might be Hydnophora. We'll put it in the bag. $10 left. So I got $10 left and this is the best I can do at haggling. Um, I have $10 left in my budget. What you got? <laughs> You're killing me. All right. Um, <laughs> let's see. A lot of Monty's available here. Uh, we could do... Oh, you're killing me, man. Yeah, if you like any of these Monty's, I could give you a good one. I got the whole rainbow. I brought the whole rainbow today. I, so. like, uh, I like this guy right here, this uh, Monty... What did we decide this was? The Pal Paloensis? Paloensis? Yeah. Yeah. Some form of it. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. You like that one? Absolutely. Half off. Tell the vendors I got this much left. I actually have $500 left in my pocket. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't.
All right, so the raffle's going on right now, and I think I got a decent amount of frags for 100 bucks. so let's go ahead and back out to the car and go through the loot. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and take some inventory here on what we got. Okay, you know, a lot of these corals that I got today are, they're pretty, they're very common, but I just wanted something, you know, different that, you know, not a lot of people are buying at these shows. I got a cool green bodied Duncan. Don't have one of those. That'll be nice. A branching Cyphastria. And this one in particular is lime green. I uh, got some pink and red in there. I'm very excited about that. Got my $10 Monopora. If you just ask, sometimes they'll give it to you for cheaper. You'd be like, I've got $10 left in my budget. What do you got in your tank? Potato chip Pavona. I know these are very common, but this is a super chunky frag. It just looks really cool, so had to have that. This is the free frag that I got. Originally, with the separation of the polyps on this frag, it led me to believe that this was Cyphastria, but I was told it will open up more, and this is definitely a Leptastria or Leptostrea. And also this mystery frag, which I believe is branching Hydnophora. We also had to do a lot of consulting on this one. I asked a lot of people about it. To me, it looked like a branching Hydnophora, but was told it's more likely a Poslopora species. Hey, if you're a master coral taxonomist, let me know in the comments. I know the video isn't super spot on, and you'd probably need some macro shots to actually determine what this is, but give it your best shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven frags for a hundred bucks guys it can be done and yes a lot of this stuff is is fairly common but i didn't get any hellfire torches or anything like that but i still got a lot of bang for the buck so oh and i wanted to mention because we talked about this on reef therapy raising awareness about jobs that are available in the industry my friend tim who is at the st louis aquarium was passing these along so they're looking for an aquarist and a life support technician so there you go just got back to the house and no leathers, no gorgs. You know, it's really hard to find those at swaps these days. So vendors, if you've got some, bring them because there are people that are interested. I'm gonna take the frags in, float them, and then hopefully be able to show you what they look like. Maybe I've already shown you what they look like. Maybe I've inserted clips in the previous section of the video showing you what they look like in my tank. Hopefully that's the case. I'm actually gonna be headed to Denver here in the next couple weeks to do some videos at the Reef Builder Studio. So I'm very excited about that. Thank you for coming along with me to uh, my local frag swap today. I really appreciate it. If you haven't yet, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you in the next one.